Hello everyone, in this video I'll be making a drill chuck arbor with a Morse Tapper 2 shank to go in the tailstock. I will also be adding a handle to the arbor so that I can hold on to it while drilling and prevent the chuck from spinning in the tailstock because Webeco, in all their wisdom, decided not to add a Morse Tapper lock in their tailstocks. So they're only held in by friction, which is fine for small drill bits but for larger drill bits it causes the chuck to spin. So I'll be making the arbor out of this um, piece of high tensile steel that I had lying around. I think it's similar to 1050 carbon steel or 4150, um, something like that, I'm not sure. And I had this piece lying around um, from a broken breaker bar. So let's get started. So I used the engineer's um, black book to work out how much um, I have to remove from the outside before I can cut the Morse Tapper 2 and what length I need. So I've just taken the first cut, um, I'm going to measure the outside diameter so I can um, know how much material I need to remove from the outside. From my calculations, um, the final outside diameter should be 20 millimeters, and the um, stock piece that I need um, to machine is 75 millimeters. So I swapped out the cutter to a different one since the um, tips on the other cutter weren't holding up very well. It could be the fact that it's uh, um, fake tips or maybe this material is a bit harder than I thought it was. Anyway, we've already done the um, turn down the other side for the Morse Taper 2 and now we're going to turn down this side for the B22 Taper um, for the chuck. Um, the B22 Taper is just the larger side of a Morse Taper 3 so won't have to machine as much I'm definitely getting a much nicer finish with the, this cutter and the um, chips it's producing is um, nice golden color not dark blue and one continuous string. Only time will tell if they hold up.
most typer 2 is now finished I just have to do the B22 typer on the other side it's going to be more of the same so I'm just going to jump straight to um, the handle Well, there's the finished product. I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.